knee problems represent a, a multitude of different problems. Uh, so sometimes it's a tendonitis, sometimes it's a loose ligament, sometimes it's a torn ligament, sometimes it's a joint surface that's injured. And at stem cell arts, we have actually three different approaches, all are regenerative in nature, that can help the knee heal itself. Uh, the first is what we call prolotherapy. It's an injection of concentrated dextrose. And dextrose used in this way is not a nutrient. It actually damages the tissue a little bit. It's an irritant. Your body thinks it's injured, responds to that injury by healing. It attracts certain growth factors to the area and actually builds a healing response. One of the oldest regenerative treatments out there. It's been around for over 75 years and eight out of 10 patients respond positively to it. The second type of treatment we have is called platelet-rich plasma. It's a newer treatment, but still it's been around at least 10 years now, so not that new. And platelet-rich plasma comes from your platelets, which are blood cells. We, we do a lab draw, a blood draw, and extract the platelets, and then use those concentrated platelets, injecting them at the site of injury, and they help heal the body by releasing tremendous amounts of growth factors which attract cells that do the healing like stem cells. And the third thing we use to treat the knee is stem cells themselves. And we can pull those out of the, out of the back of your pelvic bone. It comes out of the bone marrow cavity. It sounds like a horrible procedure, but it's really not. It's, it's not a, nobody goes for, for any procedure, of course, you know, to have a good time, but it's so effective and, and it really, most people say it's not uncomfortable. So that said, we take the stem cells out of the bone marrow blood, we concentrate them, and then we inject them into the lining part of the knee where the cartilage is or where the torn ligament is, like an ACL uh, uh, ligament tear partial or a meniscal tear or a ligament tear. And those stem cells, aided by some platelets that we also put in at the same time, and those growth factors will actually change into the cells that are needed to heal that part and that will actually help to heal that part in a very natural and biologic way and in a better way than it can do on its own.